And we got a distraction on the outside of the ring here with the makeup artist, Jay Lee, the OVW Women's Champion. But Cardinal is putting her in her place. Meanwhile, on the inside of the ring, Dimes. Is that a brookie sheet? <laughs> and they just, Adam Slade just made change with the extra from the entourage. I guess there was one more cookie sheet left over from the Anarchy Tournament. Hold on here, Dustin Jackson with the one, two, three, and the Bro Gods are your new number one contenders. Your winners and number one contenders, the Bro Gods. Well, Cardinal's trying to tell the referee that the other member of the entourage used a weapon, and the Bro Gods aren't fans of the truth. Well, the truth is, they're your number one contenders. And so the entourage, these two members of the entourage, are gonna face their leader in Cardinal at the Saturday Night Special on May the 12th. And this is a beatdown, bro. Hey, what? Look at this from DL3. DL3 just came to the aid of his tag team partner. Is now, the star can't be on both sides of the fence here, Doc. What kind of a world are we living in that DL3 is standing up for Cardinal? He's telling the bro guys to leave. A controversial moment here, to say the, the least. DL3 supporting cast just left him in the ring. I got to wonder, is this going to be lights out for the entourage? Contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first from Panama City Beach, Florida, he weighs in tonight at 228 pounds, Billy O. Ladies and gentlemen, on this Kentucky Derby weekend, we have broken from the gate. We're rounded the third turn, and we're heading down the home stretch into the Saturday night special. Billy Ho has his sights set on the television title against one Logan James. And his opponent from Louisville, Kentucky. He is the reigning and defending OVW television champion, the River City Dragon, Logan James. What kind of a name is Billy O anyway? And these, all these guys using these names, Billy O, LJ, KTD, DL3, I'll tell you what, if J-Man comes back, I'm leaving. Billy O stands for Billy Oceans, and he's been making waves in Ohio Valley Wrestling for two years, but stopped just short of a singles championship. Former OVW Southern Tag Team Champion, and Billy O has an opportunity in our opening contest here to write a new chapter and his OVW story. Whoa, 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 He's he hit the ground running. <laughs> and you see the intensity in Billy O. He added a shot at the television championship and, and Logan James several weeks back, in fact, it was a knee to the back of the head, a blindsiding knee from Logan James from the top that defeated Billy O. And, and clearly, Billy O has not forgotten about that, Doc. You know, Billy O is showing another side of himself. I mean, he's normally very chill, very laid back. You know, just his, you know, is here to make a name for himself, but but not ruffle too many feathers. He came and he hit Logan hard right out the gate in this contest tonight. And let's think about this. If you go back and remember, Billy O was pretty much one of the first victims of the edgier, more self-absorbed, grittier Logan James. 
Several weeks ago, it was LJ who left Billy O and, and his former tag team partner, Aloysius Hamilton, in a very precarious and dangerous position with the void. Yeah, and let's not forget that uh, we haven't seen much of Mr. Allo since then. I mean, thanks to Logan James, I mean, we have it. He's been gone from OVW. Will he do the same to Billy O? Will this be the last we see of Billy O tonight? Yeah, put very simply, Billy O had LJ's back, but LJ did not return the favor. Whoa! That's some height on that hip toss. And a fiery Billy O with the flurry of offense and a textbook drop kick puts the champion on his heels. And you know what? <laughs> a textbook drop kick in. Uh, you know, before I said Logan James was my pick to hold on to that title till the episode 1000, but... Champion wants the uh, a few moments to think about it, Doc. I don't think he's here to think about it. I think he's here to hightail it. Champion's advantage. He well, knows if he just walks out of here, well, takes a count out. Yeah, count out disqualification. You know the title does not change in those scenarios, and Billy O knows that, and he looks like he's not going to let LJ get away. But they just, they just run to the back as the referee's trying to count. Look at the higher level of aggression here from Billy O. Not sure if the cameras caught it, but Logan James literally walked through the curtain. Billy O ran behind him and then drug him back out to the ring and threw him back. He's not finished. Well, momentum shifted. When they Whoa. got back into the ring, and I tell you what, Billy O will not be denied. And what a back body drop by Mr. B -B Billy O right there. I don't oh. think I've ever seen this level of intensity from the challenger. I never have. I never have. It, it caught me by surprise. And he didn't even wait for it. He knew he was going to bring the fight tonight. If there's ever a way to pump the brakes, it's when your body meets the hardest part of the ring, Doc. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all the steel metal poles and boards, they all reach the corners and sides of that ring. And when you get slammed there, it hurts. And a sickening thud as LJ's body hits the steel steps. And don't get me wrong, you get slammed in the middle of that ring, it still hurts. It just hurts a little extra. He's the champion the in trouble here, Doc. Floats over into the cover. The leg is hooked. Billy O's on top, but he can only find two and a half. Wow. I, I thought he might have had his number right there, Gilbert. I mean, this is another side of Billy O. And you know what? I got to say, I kind of like it. I'm digging it. Yeah, I, I got to say that I, I've, if nothing else, LJ's learning the lesson. You don't want to make Billy O angry. When this kid goes out to make waves, he can do it. Well, I, I wonder if Billy O is just simply trying to take a page out of Mr. Logan James's book. I mean, he's seen how successful LJ has been. Maybe Billy O himself is starting to get an attitude change. Stinger South Splash, Logan James seeing lights, but he's out in two. Now he's going to have to turn up the heat a little bit more if he wants to put away our television champion and take away his championship. Perhaps it's the attitude shift that's beginning to play into Logan James. You know that he separated himself from the locker room, Doc. How far can he get with no friends and no allies? Well, you know, it, it, it's, pan, it's panned out well for him so far as far as being the, the television championship, or champion, if you will. And I think as long as he can keep the streak going, the Momentum sky's the limit. Momentum shifting moment here, Doc, as LJ jacks the jaw. Whoa! Billy O and springboards into a drop kick. Will it be enough? The champion's on top, and the challenger's out in two. He may have cracked his sternum in half with that drop kick. What a competitive matchup to begin the hour this week on Ohio Valley Wrestling. Yeah, we're starting hard. We're starting fast. And, you know, I, I thought it would just be another week off for Logan James, but Billy O's bringing the fight. <laughs> I don't know if Logan James is going to be able to put away this one. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight all roads lead to the Saturday night special one week away, May the 12th, right here in Davis Arena. I want you to make a note in your wrestling calendar. We normally do the Saturday night special the first Saturday of the month. Of course, we know it's Derby Day here in Kentucky, so we have moved that major event to May 12th and some huge announcements tonight that you are not going to want to miss for matches on that card, courtesy of our new owner, Al Snow. Well, can you go ahead and drop me a, a hint, Gilbert? You'll find out. Oh, come on. But right now, it's Billy O. He's find, finding out what whiplash feels like. Uh, and let me tell you, it doesn't feel good. And, and true whiplash, it sticks with you for a while. It's not just, you know, you have your neck hurt and the next day it's And fine. here's this edgier, grittier character shift that we've, we've seen in LJ. Picks Billy O up by the hair. Yeah, that just seemed to stoke the fire in the challenger, who's on another flurry of offense here. Set up for the ride now, in off the rope. 
and LJ gets met by a big boot here. Is Billy O sensing victory? Can he put him away? Yeah, Billy O oh, was, was, a, was a roaring fire coming in. Logan just put gas on the fire. Billy O connects. And look at the wisdom of LJ rolling to the ropes. Going to looks like either trying to either German suplex or O'Connor roll Logan James, but can he? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was a blatant low blow, a blatant low blow and the referee didn't see it because of the distraction by LJ. LJ's taking shortcuts and the shortcuts lead to victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and still OVW television champion, Logan James. Well, that is why Logan James is still your number one champion, Gilbert. That's why he will not get topped anytime soon. How low will Logan go to keep that title around his waist? Well, consider this your official welcome into Ohio Play Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Gilbert Corsi along with the man beast, Ted McNaylor. And Doc, as I understand it, the Bro Gods, the number one contenders for the OVW Southern Tag Team titles, they've made an appointment in Dr. Man Beast Wrestling Clinic. Well, what's the prognosis tonight? Well, listen, the professors of broology are going to let me have the scoop exclusively in that ring, Gilbert, and you're just going to have to wait. All right. Also, ladies and gentlemen, our new owner, Al Snow, has made a decision regarding the anarchy division here in Ohio Valley Wrestling, and we will reveal it when we, co make, we have the coronation, the pump, the circumstance, the celebration for the man who survived 32 other men to become OVW's first ever anarchy champion. I'm talking about Dapper Dan. Well, I'm no fan of Dapper Dan, but I have a feeling he has a locker room full of young individuals that are going to want to take that title off his waist. And don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen, in our main event tonight. We will see Michael Hayes' apparently new best friend, Shiloh Jones, squaring off against his challenger for the Saturday night special, The Real Deal, Randall Floyd. Big main event, Doc. You may have seen Shiloh in such things as well. You're going to see him tonight beating Randall Floyd in that ring. Not if The Real Deal has his way. Tweet your friends, call your family. It's a big night of wrestling action. OVW is off and running. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. You dream of winning championships and entertaining crowds in the world of professional wrestling? You want to be the best? You've got to be trained by the best. Ohio Valley Wrestling has been called the Harvard of pro wrestling the next pro wrestling superstar. Apply at ovwrestling.com. Click on training. Begin living your dream today. for the Southern Tag Team Championships. Colton Cage, Dustin Jackson, the Broga. You gotta wonder if there's trouble on the set when the production team from the Entourage is scheduled to face the star of the group in DL3 and Cardinals for the OVW Southern Tag Team titles at the Saturday Night Special. Dustin, Colton, welcome to Dr. Man Wrestling Clinic. And from what I understand, you're bringing Bromageddon to Scott Carl in DL3. You're bringing the Bro-Apocalypse. Tell me, what do you all have to say tonight? Well, Bro Beast, we are number one Bro Tenders. And you know, we are millennials, so we like instant gratification. And we want those Bro VW titles 
right here, right now. Yeah. Are you saying you want it tonight? We want it tonight, man beast, because tonight we're the bro rectors and we're calling the shots. So we want our titles right here, put on the line tonight. Yeah. Well, you heard it. The bro gods are demanding their championship, but will, will the answer, it looks like, the, will they accept the challenge? We'll find out. Colton Cage, Dustin Jackson became number one contenders last week here on OVW Television. That match scheduled for the Saturday night special May the 12th right here in Davis Arena, but the challengers don't want to wait. And it looks like the champions are in disagreement about whether this match will happen right now. As usual, you're out here running. No, 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 no. The microphone off. Stay back there. Let me be. Let this big boy speak. You want to fight? You bet your ass I'll put these online. You bet just as much I'll whoop your ass tonight as I would any other day. The number one contender set the challenge. The champions accept. All we need is a referee, and I think we're about to have a Southern Tag Team title match. The challengers have accepted, or at least one of them. It looks like Cardinals in for a fight. Are we, are we going to get a referee and, and, and make this thing official? I think I see one coming through the curtain right now. OVW Southern Tag Team titles on the line. We got to take a television timeout. We'll keep the cameras rolling. Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, OVW Southern Tag Team title on the line here. DL3, the star, facing his entourage in the Bro Gods, Doc. I can't believe it. I mean, the Bro Gods basically betraying their, their, their leader. Trying to overthrow him, and I'm a big fan of the Bro Gods. Yeah, well now it's, it's the production team that's flipped the script on DL3. Well, maybe, you know, perhaps maybe this will motivate DL3 to be a better director. Could this have anything to do with the fact that DL3 stopped Colton Cage and Dustin Jackson from attacking Cardinal last week here on OVW Television? Well, it might be, it might be that fact. I mean, he was acting like a dictator in there, and the last thing they need is to take orders from Brosif Stalin. Brosif Stalin? Get it? No. He was an overthrown dictator. He's hit him with his foot. I don't know if the human body's supposed to bend like that. Whoa. That'll pull a hammy in my diagnosis. I know you're the doctor, but you know, whatever. Well, as long as they don't have any broken bones after that, I'm okay. Again, the Bro Gods, former OVW Southern Tag Team Champions. They became number one contenders last week in a number one contenders match on OVW television. This match was set to happen at the Saturday night special, but the Bro Gods, you know, it just occurred to me. Uh, DL3 is always plotting. He's always scheming. He seems to have his his entourage, you know, well in hand in his back pocket. Could this be another scheme of the director of the star? You know, I, another one of his plot twists that we don't know about? Well, it's hard to say, Gilbert. He is probably one of the greatest actors of our time. So oh I my! I can never tell. Really? If he's telling the truth or not? Because I mean, he's just that good of an actor. I mean, I, I believe everything he says. Actor, uh, actor and director. Is he uh, uh, Woody uh, Woody Allen? Uh, uh, <laughs> Not really funny. But right now, it's Dustin Jackson who may be wishing he had a stunt double. Oh, it's all right. He'll be okay. Remember, he's a bro god. And they're just facing a couple of bromo sapiens. What is a bro god? 
I, I've been seeing these guys on television for months. I, I don't know what a bro god is. Well, it's just, it's a step up from just being a bro, Gilbert. And it's one of those things to where if you have to ask, you just don't understand, bro. Clearly, I, I, I don't. But I do understand it's Colton Cage who's the aggressor now. And Cardinal who turns around the Irish whip into the turnbuckle. Pillar to post goes Cage. Oh, oh and you could hear the echo like the crack of the whip with the Ow. knife edge chop. That hurt my chest just to, just to listen. It's in here a ringside. Oh. Dustin Jackson with the outside interference and a well-placed distraction allows the opportunity for Colton Cage to work back up to his feet. They're going to need to take some Abu Brofen after this match. You know, last week while I was trying to interview uh, the OVW Southern Tag Team Champions Cardinal DL3, I said, we've heard of uh, problems with the stars on the set, stars who, who don't get along, but they don't even want to be on the same stage. Oh, yeah, they, they hardly ever... They, they don't even hardly come out of the curtain together. The DL3 looked like he was as close to Cardinal this time because he was trying to stop the match from happening. And it wasn't enough. Dustin Jackson driving the forearms into the midsection of Cardinal. Oh, but he just drove his tip of his shoulder, that acromioclavicular joint, right into the... The what? The acromioclavicular joint. It's where your clavicle makes your shoulder blade, Gilbert. Your shoulder? Well, I'm being very specific. I'm Clearly. trying to learn you something. You don't have to impress me. I've seen your degrees. I know you're a doctor. Yeah, but you know what's even more impressive? The fact that Colton Cage and Dustin Jackson can hit you just as hard with either hand, left or right. What I'm trying to say is they're ambrodextrous. <laughs> Here we Both go. Both legs hooked here. Cardinal's in trouble, but he's out in two. Colton Cage asking himself, what's he going to have to do to keep the big man down? Well, you got to be broacious. You got to be broactive. And still to come here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we will have the coronation of OVW's first ever Anarchy Champion. A major announcement during that coronation referred to us by our new owner and Al Snow and a main event that has major implications for the Saturday night special when Randall Floyd, the number one contender for the OVW Heavyweight Championship, faces Michael Hayes' new best friend in Shiloh Jones. And Shiloh Jones, you know, wants to impress Michael Hayes tonight. And what an impression he would make if he beat Randall Floyd in the middle of that ring. You know, it's two steps forward and one step back for Cardinal. Every time he starts to mount a little bit of offense, it seems like the bro gods are able to cut him off at the pass, and he, he's just not able to make it to his partner. Textbook tag team maneuvering here from the bro gods. Hey, what do you think the bro god's favorite Greek god is? I bet it's Brosidon, the lord of the Brosian. You have got a million of them today, Doc. You well, are on fire. I've been waiting all week for this match. Well, really, just for the bro gods. I didn't know the match was was happening until it just did oh, in front of my face. Minute. But Dustin Jackson just knocked DL3 off the apron. Again, oh. remember, the bro gods are from cover here. One, two, and. Look at that, almost like a fisherman's buster. Colton Cage makes the save. And uh -oh. I, I, I've been wondering about the status of the entourage. Do the Brogods still want to be a part of DL3's entourage? Competition breeds contempt. Problems here for Cage. And he's he's made, he's made the, the hot tag to DL3. My voice went up a pitch. I couldn't believe it. He's kicking Colton in the, in, from, from tip to toe. Oh, and the star is fire, firing off on his entourage. Hollywood leg sweep. Nice kick to the head to Dustin Jackson. Problems on the set here for the production team. DL3 plants Dustin Jackson. Will it be enough here? Oh, no. Oh, bro. Ouch. Cardinal jacks the jaw. I think it's about over here. Cardinal has him right where he wants him. Uh-oh. Dustin Dr Jackson struggles to get the big man up. Cardinal's got him right where he wants him here. What's this going to be? Uh-oh. Dimes. The extra. 
the camera guy, the paparazzi. He stuck his nose where it didn't oh. belong. He's in him with that giant screwdriver on the back of the head. And that's no prop, ladies and gentlemen. DL3 realizes there's been a miscue. Oh, no. It opened the window of opportunity. It couldn't be. And it the could be. gods just That's it. it. And here are your winners and new OBW Southern Tag Team Champions, the Bro Gods. Talk about trouble on the set. It's lights out for DL3 and Dustin Jackson and Colton Cage, his production team of the new Southern Tag Team Champions. I cannot believe it. This is the greatest moment in bro history. Again, I say, the script just got flipped on the star. Wow. The bro guts. Your brother tag team champions. I'll tell you what. I, for one, am shocked. Bro. Bro. gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, the Anarchy Champion, the man, Dapper Dan. Yeah, it was one Dapper Dan that bested Tony Gunn at the Kentucky Derby Festival to become the first ever Ohio Valley Wrestling Anarchy Champion. And look at that title. I happen to know this title was made and is presented by the Knight School of Welding, the official sponsor of the Anarchy Division here in Ohio Valley Wrestling. And although I don't care for one Dapper Dan, I have to say that the Knight School of Welding certainly did a great job constructing that title. Wow. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, in all of its glory and all of its luster. Be careful, there's barbed wire on that. We don't want you to cut your hand. Made courtesy of the Knight School of Welding right here in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, Dap, you survived 32 other men, several months long tournament here in Ohio Valley Wrestling to etch your place in OVW history as the very first Anarchy Champion. I gotta say, I gotta ask, how does it feel? How does it feel, huh? Well, I'll tell you, let me break it down. You know, it felt real good to give old Flex Murthy a Death Valley driver right onto a pile of Legos. That felt pretty good. One-upping that, it felt pretty good to crack a guitar over Tony Gunn's pretty little head. You see, a run for the ropes, I became the first ever Anarchy Champion. And that's and you real know what? Barbed As wire. I said time and time again, it's not just me, but it's Dapper and the people that did this right here. You are certainly an OVW favorite, and you know that OVW has a new owner. Well, I have been told from Al Snow that this will not just be any hardcore division. This is Anarchy Rules. And with Anarchy Rules, the champion gets to set the stipulation for any Anarchy match. What kind so of stupid rules is that? Blood. That can be tables, that can be buried alive. Whatever you can think of, Dapper Dan, you can do as the Anarchy Champion. Now we know that your first title defense is gonna be May 12th at the Saturday Night Special and you will be defending against the three other guys who are the finalists in the Anarchy title tournament. That's going to be Zoe, Apollo, 
and Tony Gunn on May the 12th in a fatal four-way. So what will the stipulation be? What will the anarchy rule be oh, at no. the Saturday night special? No, and Dapper Dan will be a pig pen match. Wait a second. Yes, it is. Is that? It is. It's the gun show. That's Tony Gunn. And I'm sure he has something to say to Dapper Dan, the man that beat him to become the first ever Anarchy Champion. And I, for one, am glad Tony has made his way out to ring. Well, Shotgun, it's not your time. It's the champion's choice for the Anarchy Rule at the Saturday Night Special. You know, Dapper Dan, I got to say this first. Congratulations on winning that Anarchy title at Run for the Ropes against me last week. Congratulations. But very humble, very humble. In that same note, I got to say this. Beating me, hardcore, pretty much fluke win, Dapper. Good point. Hey, hardcore wrestling is a fluke when you win at that. You don't have to be skilled to win a hardcore match. Correct. Anybody off the street can do that, Dapper. Correct. Now, what I'm saying is this, Dapper. Hardcore wrestling is nonsense wrestling. It's garbage wrestling. That is also correct. Very true words by Tony Gunn. I, I'm not trying to stoke the flames or anything here, but Tony Gunn, are you saying that Dapper Dan is, is, is not skilled? Well, now, Gilbert Corsi, you're putting words in my mouth. Dapper Dan, let me backtrack a little bit. Let me say this. I've seen you wrestle in the past, not doing hardcore, and you, my friend, you're a pretty skilled wrestler in the ring, but, I mean, you're not more skilled than me. I'm Shotgun Tony Gunn. I'm the best wrestler here, but, but I mean, you have, you have some skill, Dapper. So what I'm trying to say is this. You get to set the stipulation for the Anarchy matches, right? So instead of giving it some type of gimmick like a, like a table match or a ladder match or, or I don't know, a street fight, why don't you do this? Instead of labeling a gimmick, why don't why don't you make this just a regular fatal four-way match, Dapper, where you win pinfall or submission? I like it. Now, I like it. Hey, are you, hey, I'm trying to talk to him. Can you shut your mouth? Now, Dapper, before I was really interrupted, before you set this stipulation, I want you to think about this. This decision right now marks your legacy right here. Do you want to forever be known as a nonsense, garbage, hardcore wrestler? Or do you want to be known as a true, pure, respected wrestler? Gun is shooting from the head. about it, Dapper Dan? So you're saying no tables, no chairs. Yeah, no tables, no chairs. No ladders. Yeah, none of that. No Legos. <laughs> you know, Tony? Legos? You made your point, man, and you know what? You've helped me decide that it's going to be a street fight. <laughs> whoa, 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 no, 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 that is garbage. You cannot do that, Dapper. You cannot make it. I'm not going to have any part of this. I will not be there at the Maytail start. You can call me a chicken or what. I don't care. I am not supporting this garbage. Tony, I'm sounding like you're being the chicken. That's what I'm He hearing. is not a, a chicken. Because you see, Tony, Al gave you one more chance, and you're going to squander it by not showing up. You better, Tony, if you've got the guts. If you're the man you say you are, if you're the best, you better be there. May 12th. Anarchy rules. The Saturday night special, May the 12th, right here in Davis Arena. A fatal four-way for the Anarchy title. A fatal four-way street fight. The Davis Arena won't be able to contain this match. It's the Anarchy Championship, and it's next week at the Saturday night special. And you can only see it live.
following contest is a number one contenders match for the OVW Women's Championship. Introducing first, from parts unknown, Valerie Furman. What is wrong with this new girl, Valerie Furman? She hasn't talked to anyone backstage. Well, she, yes, she has. I often. That doesn't count. Voices in her head. Her opponent from Laguna Beach, California, Callie. Callie, a former OVW Women's Champion, who's been on the chase to regain the title for more than six months now. An opportunity to thrust herself into the number one contender spot at the Saturday Night Special right here with this contest on OVW Television. And look at Vanessa, or Valerie, excuse me, Valerie Vermin. I'm just. Odd, odd bird, odd, odd duck here. Gilbert, is this is this what they call an emo? Is this an emo thing? I what, think Jay, what is Dawson, emo? Jay Dawson was emo. I, I don't know what you'd call Valerie Vermin. Again, I, she's a weirdo. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not judging. That's no, those are not I nice am. words. She's to a weirdo. Use, but I, I just know that whenever I see her in back, she's just kind of muttering underneath her breath and and talking to herself and. I guess I guess I guess sometimes you gotta talk to yourself when you're the only one that'll listen, but <laughs> she's Louise. She's she's something else. But I'll tell you what, she's she certainly got uh character, that's for sure. Whatever that's worth. I don't get you a cup of coffee somewhere. Uh oh. Lemon drops the head, shoulders on the mat. Callie with a sunset flip can only find two. And Valerie doesn't look like she's seen too many sunsets. Doesn't look like she gets out in the sun too often. <laughs> wow. Rude. I mean, why would you knock this this young lady's personal appearance in Valerie Vermin? Because she's weird. She's she's definitely a. Uh, Callie is firing here. Series of clotheslines. The former OVW Women's Champion trying to climb her way back on top. You know, Callie's had many shots at Jay Lee, but by hook or by crook, just hasn't been able to win the title. Could May 12th be her night? Uh oh. Oh, oh hold on. Beautiful armbar. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Callie. Callie's carrying the momentum into the Saturday Night Special. Will she be carrying the women's title out of Davis Arena on May the 12th? Wrestling, wrestling. a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The Wrestling Brand. you dream of winning championships and entertaining crowds in the world of professional wrestling? you want to be the best, you've got to be trained by the best. Ohio Valley Wrestling has been called the Harvard of pro wrestling. Be the next pro wrestling superstar. Apply at ovwrestling.com. Click on training. Begin living your dream today. Into Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road. This is Ohio Valley Wrestling Television. Gilbert Corsi alongside Dr. Man Beast, Ted McNaylor. Wrestling fans, mark your wrestling calendar for May the 12th. Saturday night special, normally the Saturday night of the month. We know it's Derby Saturday, so we're moving that event one week. And we are in the home stretch right now. Big main event scheduled when Randall Floyd challenges Michael Hayes for the OVW Heavyweight Championship. And boy, Randall Floyd has been on such a hot streak lately, I can't wait for it to get cooled off as Michael Hayes puts a freeze to his momentum. Could the creator of chaos freeze Randall Floyd, or could the real deal have a really big night? 
You'll find out at the Saturday Night Special. Also tonight, we learn there's going to be a fatal four-way street fight when the new Anarchy champion, Dapper Dan, defends the finalists from the Anarchy title tournament. I'm talking about Apollo. I'm talking about Gun. I'm talking about Zoe. Haven't these people had enough of seeing street fights, no disqualification? I wanted to see a traditional wrestling match, and yet we're going to have them beating the heck out of each other all over this arena. Hold on, let's pull Davis Arena. Did you guys want to see what Tony Gunn and Dr. McNaylor wanted to see? A catcher's catch can, two, one, two out of three falls. Did you want to see, do you want to see Dapper Dan use tables, chairs, kendo sticks, and whatever he can get his hands on? Well, there's only one way for you to see it, ladies and gentlemen. That's live and in person right here at Davis Arena on May the 12th at the Saturday Night Special. Well, speaking of chaos, here comes the OVW Heavyweight Champion, Captain Crazy himself, Michael Hayes. Mike? Oh, God. I'm a, I mean, I'm a, I'm a little uneasy. I mean, I know, again, we don't call you the creator of chaos for no reason. That's true. That's true. I, gotta get I mean, I never know what you're going to do. You're right, you're right, you're right. I kind of well, said best friend. Well, I mean, friend. frankly, I want some hand sanitizer. There could have been anthrax. little angel creatures like his cat. Okay. I love, I love it. I mean, you asked the question. No, I mean, that's the answer. We're boys. We've known each other for years. Okay. Shiloh and I have been in the trenches, man. And speaking of cats, things are about to be catastrophic for Randall Floyd. And his opponent from Indianapolis, Indiana. He weighs in tonight at 224 pounds. Randall Floyd. You are looking at the number one contender for the OVW Heavyweight Championship at the May 12th Saturday Night Special. Can I remove this mic from the stand or do I have to sit awkwardly like this close to the desk? You can do whatever you want. You can oh, do whatever thanks, you Gilbert. want. And Mike, I, I gotta get your your thoughts on, on Randall Floyd as a challenger. Many are saying that he's your biggest threat yet. Well, that, the, the cord just came out, so hopefully you can still hear me. You know, honestly, uh, Randall Floyd has done nothing but impress me since he's been here. But the fact of the matter is, he's only been here for maybe a fart. I don't think he's ever beat somebody worthy of saying that he's ready for the number one contendership. He had a great time at the waterfront. I get it. He beat a bunch of J-Brones, but now he's in the ring with the GOAT. He's going to find out what that's like very soon. Uh, you mentioned that Floyd is a newcomer here to Ohio Valley Wrestling, but the wrestling resume that he's put together in this, his rookie year, multi-time former OVW Southern or a multi-time former OVW television champion, I gotta wonder if you can stop the rise of this guy. Stop the momentum that's clearly in the real deal's favor. This is a, a meetup of cosmic forces. And I'll say he's a, uh, see, he's pretty good. See, he's pretty good. So you gotta watch your stuff now. That's what I'm, oh, okay, never mind. Oh, that was, could have been a rookie mistake. Hey, you're looking, you're, you're gonna watch an asteroid, you're gonna watch a comet, you're gonna watch two planets collide. It just so happens to be on the bigger planet. What's up with those closed fists, by the way, for Randall Floyd? He's supposed to be the wrestler man, and now he's the fighting man? Floyd became number one contender when he won the final fall in the 10-man elimination style tag match at Ouch. Run for the Ropes at Waterfront Park. And our thanks to the hundreds of fans who came and joined OVW for our biggest event of the year. Yes, so I wanted to congratulate all those fans for getting to enjoy that mud hole stomp and I put on Mitch Huff. It was, it was great. It was great. Thank you guys for everything. Floyd not afraid to take the fight to the floor against your best friend, Mike. Is it hard for you to watch this? 
I can't say it's hard for me to watch it. I asked if it was hard for you to watch this. I said I can't say it's hard for me to watch Randall it. Floyd puts a beat down on Shiloh Jones. <sighs> see, hey, look, I'll give it to him. He's good. You can see how he moves. He's got he's got the athleticism of a uh, you know of, a, of an Olympian. Well, but he just hasn't been in the mud long enough to know what it feels like to really get dirty. If we know one thing about Michael Hayes, it's that you're a soldier who never goes into battle, never goes into war without a. Without oh. a Almost. Did you see how close Shiloh came to winning? He was trying to tell him who he was. On his feet. He said, Hi, I'm Shiloh Jones. That's not how you welcome somebody. What I was saying, Mike, is that we know that you're a soldier who never goes into war without a battle strategy. Was this part of your plan? Did you send your goon, I mean your best friend, in there with instructions to uh, soften up Randall Floyd? I had nothing to do with the makeup of this match. This just, this just happened to be here, and I wanted to come watch two high-level athletes compete uh, on our television show tonight. Now, if Shiloh happens to put that work on Floyd, so be it. I'm going to take advantage. What concerns you the most about Randall Floyd? Nothing. To be honest with you, nothing. Uh, if Is it the cutter that he pulls out of nowhere? You know, that's devastating, and I get it. But as soon as I allow any form of fear to enter my brain, everything becomes compromises. I respect him. I get it. He's great. But his horns are green as hell, and he cannot hang with me. Shiloh Jones on the floor begging for Hayes' help. But incoming is Randall Floyd. And Floyd is carrying that? momentum into the Saturday night special. We got a stare down here at the broadcast booth. Look out! And again, I say Floyd made a rookie mistake, Doc, because he took his eyes off of his opponent tonight. And you know he's going to make a stupid mistake like that when he faces a real champion like Michael Hayes. You know it's going to happen. Now, see, now this is what I'm talking about. He's the rookie mistake. Not to use the term uh, too much, but it was a rookie mistake. He came to me looking to me to talk nonsense to me. One, no one's going to out talk me. That's just how it goes. I'm the master of that. But he left his back open to one of the greatest superstars to wrestle in OVW. That's not a smart move. What's he going to do with me? Got to say, it's a momentum shifting moment in the match here. See what Shiloh's doing right now to take advantage of his inexperience? It wasn't just a rookie mistake. It was a stupid mistake. It was dumb. It was Straight real, up. real dumb. You are so dumb. It was a moment of lapsed focus is what we'll call it, ladies and gentlemen. But nonetheless, you can call it this that. Far fight is far from over. I think it was yeah. pretty stupid. Uh-oh. Uh, an ankle lock. Oh, no. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. Could it be that Submission City that here for slick. Shiloh Jones here? Oh, He's caught in the middle of the ring. There you go. See? And Experience. Randall Floyd's got a vice-like grip on the ankle. I didn't see that coming. Oh, oh my. Woo! Ric Flair Woo! eats your heart out with that knife yeah, edge chop. Boy. <laughs> I don't think Shiloh can feel his own hand. That's right. <laughs> That's what I said. Did you hear that <laughs> hand? Shiloh may have hurt his own hand. <laughs> Ooh, that that may be. Uh, may he really be. hurt that himself. Was... Uh oh! It's the two middle fingers. See, two middle now fingers. this is a beautiful thing. These two. Well, the Mike, Shiloh Jones is asking out here to his best friend Michael Hayes how to apply mustard gas and roses. Don't y'all think you should have talked about this before? I thought well, him. It's well, in I'm the heat of the moment. Play, you know I mean? Watch this. Yeah. Is Shiloh gonna use this Almost. paralyzing maneuver here? Randall, I'm not sure if he's got it connected from this. Ca camera angle, but I do know that Randall Floyd, no, you, Floyd is fighting out. Oh, he took no. too much time and instruction. I can't get in there and do it for him. And Floyd, look at Floyd power back up to a vertical base Yeah, here. he is strong. I'll give him that. I mean, he's strong. But he's about as green as he is strong. That bench press won't be in the ring with me. And another hard shot to the midsection. But the veteran in Experience. Shiloh Jones Experience. uses the ring to his advantage. 502! Oh. oh gosh. And Floyd. I don't even know if Floyd knows where he is right now, but he knows he's got a fight. You knew where that hand needed to be, I'll tell him what. 
Floyd is shaking out the cobwebs and beginning to mount the offense now. Irish whip reversed by Shiloh Jones. Close line ducked by Randall Floyd and followed up with a super power slam. I can't deny it. The boy is undeniable. He is what going you, to be good. What do you do with this, Michael Hayes? I beat the what crap out of him. What do you do it? with this I take him into deep waters that he's never seen. Strength and he, offense. He finds out how far, how far low the depth that Jaws will sink and pull him down to. He has no idea what he's getting there. This isn't some collegiate wrestling match. This isn't just a regular match uh, with uh, Shoulders on the mat, the leg is hooked. Referee's out of position and Floyd's out in two. I call myself the greatest of all time for a reason, because I back it up. Well, let's, uh, and, and I understand Floyd is a great wrestler, but let's look at it. how tough is Shallow Jones to take all this punishment and still be on his he feet. And not only that, he looks great. he's taking control of the match right I, now. I have a question for you, Gilbert. What do you think Floyd's gonna do to stop me? Yeah. You've seen me burst down every oh, oh, no! That's what I think. No! That's what I think, Michael Hayes, that Randall Floyd is gonna do to stop you okay. at the Saturday night special. Are you it's kidding May me? It's May the 12th, no. and if Randall Floyd connects okay. like that, we could have a new OVW champion. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, and here is your winner, Randall Floyd. I cannot believe he hit that cutter out of nowhere. And if that happens at the Saturday Night Special, ladies and gentlemen, we could have a new OVW right. heavyweight Turn around. Champion. I'm not good. They're it's telling the you to watch out. Turn around. Look at me in the eye. This is the greatest of you, all time. That was impressive. I'll give it to you. But standing right here, the brightest color on you is green. I'm trying to count the horns on your head because I can tell your greenhorn self has, still has no idea what he's in for at the Saturday Night Special. Everything you've done here has been wonderful. You've been very impressive, but you need to learn a lesson right now. Right now. You just jumped into deep waters. You just jumped into deep waters with Jaws, and you have no idea how far down I'm going to pull you. There's blood in the water, boy. There's blood in the water. I want to know. What makes you think you're ready for the GOAT? Tell me. Well, listen up, Jaws. You've never dealt with a boat this big. You don't think I'm ready, Mike Hayes? I'll see you at the Saturday Night Special and show you just how ready I am. One week from tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it will be a monumental fight. Floyd versus Hayes, the OVW title on the line. Who's gonna leave the Saturday night special as the champ? Will it be another night in the reign of terror for Michael Hayes? Or will it be a real good night for the real deal? We're gonna find out at the Saturday night special.